we move on to the rear braces. Now, this is, does not require any kind of extensive fabrication. In fact, they're extremely simple. So, section 4.6.11 of GTA CCR says there must be at least two rear braces extending from the main hoop rearward to the point where they mount to the chassis. Now, they must have at least 30 degrees between the main hoop and the point where they mount, and they may be in a plane when we're viewed from the top, the plane must be no less than 75 degrees, no more than 105 degrees. So when you're looking down, they can have no more of a swing area or an angle to them from the point where they attach in the main hoop. So you can use an X brace, which we're not going to do on this one, which can use two separate tubes and a diagonal. And they must be within six inches from the top of the main hoop. Now, I rarely ever run any down the side of the main hoop, but it is common to see that design. So I'm going to try and keep within 90 degrees exactly. And I'm going to measure from the lowest point on that mounting plate to ensure that I have enough tube. And the lowest point to the top of the main hoop looks like about 42 inches. So I'm going to cut two separate tubes at 42 inches each and we're going to notch them out, stick them in, and then toss in the diagonal. So one important thing to remember when installing the rear braces is to make sure that the section that you have above here is easily accessed with the welder because remember you can't drop the cage anymore with the rear braces in here. And since we already permanently welded it to the rest of the chassis, we need to make sure that we can access it with the torch or even the MIG which I don't like to break precedent and, and, uh, and weld the uh, rest of the cage with the MIG when all of it's uh, been welded with a TIG up to this point so I'm going to make sure that it's easily accessible. Now for the base of it, I just used the MIG, and I'm going to toss a pretty decent tack in here to hold it in place, and that'll give me a chance to kind of worm it around and better place it in a moment. Should be good to go on this tube. Take a look here, make sure that there's no significant gaps or anything serious. All of it is very accessible with the TIG. And in a moment I'll take a measurement to make sure that we're at the correct angle and that's when we'll set it up to get the notches. But for right now it's tacked, it's in place. I'm gonna get the other side in real quick. Two set up in place, we'll just drop a tack down on here again, just like the other side. Awesome. So now we got a little bit of wiggle room here. Uh, we can set these up, get them tacked in place, and then we'll cut and throw in the diagonal to get in here uh, shortly thereafter. So Get this cracking. Alrighty, let's get down on this rear brace. This final piece for the rear section here is the diagonal. Now, of course, it has to start over in the bottom left and end above the driver's head, top right. So that's where we're measuring from. And it looks like 51 and a half inches. So I'm going to go cut a 51 and a half inch piece, notch both sides here, throw it up in there, and then the rear section will be done. free right now. I have to hold this up here. I have to use the, use the MIG to drop a little tack on here. That should hold it in place while I get the TIG out. Let's check the fit real quick on it. Looks like my notch has stayed in there quite well. So, all I gotta do is drop a few welds on it and this whole rear section is complete.